One, two, three, and... I'm Dave Brunel and I'm the music director and play tenor saxophone in the uh, Thursday Night Jazz Band. And just a little bit about our band, it's a community group uh, from uh, musicians from up and down the valley, all the way from uh, Soyuz, all the way up through Summerland and Peachland, but most of us come from Penticton. Uh, what's very special about our group is that uh, this is our 30th year that we've been together, so we're very proud of that. Um, the Thursday Night Jazz Band is a, is a jazz big band, and uh, we play uh, traditional big band swing, but we also play all various forms of uh, big band music, uh, including uh, Latin music and ballads and rock music, and we also uh, feature a number of uh, cover tunes from uh, horn bands from the 1970s in particular. We practice every Thursday night uh, here at Skaha Lake Middle School, my name's Norma Lippa, and I'm a member of the local chapter of Grandmothers for Africa. We are a group of like-minded women who uh, are passionate about the cause of supporting the grandmothers in sub-Saharan Africa who are raising their AIDS-orphaned grandchildren. Our job is to fundraise and raise money for the Stephen Lewis Foundation, and they, in turn, distribute it to the grandmothers and grassroots activities in sub-Saharan Africa. Our connection with this Thursday night jazz band is one of friendships. The lead trumpet player, Paula Baker, taught at the same school that I did, and we have been close friends for years and years. This Thursday night jazz band had their picture in the paper as they'd been performing at another function, and one of the grandmothers said, it's too bad we don't know somebody in that band, maybe they would do a concert for us. Well, as it turned out, I knew Paula, and that was our connection, and they have played benefit concerts for us annually for six years in a row. This coming Thursday, January 18th, we're playing for the Grandmothers for Africa for their big fundraiser at the Barking Parrot uh, Lounge, and we turn that lounge into a, a jazz cabaret. Tickets are available at the lakeside at the front desk, or you might be able to get them at the door if they're not already sold out. The money that the Grandmothers for Africa raises is often put together with money from other groups such as Rotary and they have been known to uh, support projects such as clinics where they can actually be tested for HIV AIDS and receive medication if necessary. Also, the money goes to train other women in the healthcare field so that they can go and educate the grandmothers in the areas that they live. We're very proud of the efforts that the band makes because uh, in the community we have figured out we raise between twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars per year in the community and we give it all back to the community. So it's a chance for us to show our love for our music and uh, give back to the community as well. People often ask, why do you think it caught on? Why do you think the grandmothers in Canada the, the women were so anxious to come to the aid of these grandmothers in Africa. And the answer to that is simply, we have undying devotion towards our children and our grandchildren. We have the money, we have the wherewithal to help this continent, and why wouldn't we be doing it?